Hello and welcome to this video with me Paul Hill from www.bestgraphicstablets.com In this video I'm going to be taking a quick look at the Apetech 14000U graphics tablet. This is the first non-Wacom graphics tablet I've reviewed so I'm very keen to see how it compares. I'm first going to be covering the installation process for the tablet driver before moving on to some of the configuration settings on the tablet itself. I'm then going to finish off by carrying out a quick test of the pressure sensitivity function within Photoshop. So let's get started. So I'm going to go and double click the executable to start the installation for the driver. Now the tablet that I got was purchased quite a while ago um, and arrived with installation media which was not compatible with Windows 7 and instead designed for Vista. So I just went over to the Apetech website and pulled down the latest version of the driver which is fully compatible with Windows 7. So I'm going to hit OK when the first window pops up which just basically says go ahead and install the driver or the USB tablet manager and we're just going to let this go through so I'm going to let this run out in real time just so that you get a good idea of how long it takes and whether or not there are actually any issues within the installation process itself Okay, that seems to be coming to an end now. Okay, and there we have it, all finished and okay to complete. And so it's time now to see what we've got. So with the driver installed, it's time to take a look at the tablet properties. Within the taskbar, there's an icon of a graphics tablet on an orange background. So select this once to open up the tablet properties window. The first thing that we're able to affect is the softness or the firmness of the tip feel itself. We can then move on to adjust the tip for the double click distance and we are also able to change the functionality of the two buttons located on the stylus. Please be aware that if you do change this you can reset this to default by using the button here. If we then move on to the mapping tab we can see that we are able to affect the monitor areas when in pen mode so we can choose a portion of the screen or all screens and then when in mouse mode uh, standard settings like mouse acceleration and mouse speed so now let's move on to the macro key button here now an interesting feature on the Apetech 14000U is the 34 macro key situated around the outside of the active area what we can do here is configure these to perform different functions so that when you tap them with the nib of the stylus it carries them out. So to start here we need to create a new profile so that we can configure a few things. Now I'm going to go and create one called test and select the macro key number one and carry out a keystroke. So in here I'm going to select the hold down the windows key and press R which we all know opens up the run command within Windows. So now that's configured, I'm going to select OK, give it a name which is intuitive to the function, so run. OK that, and then come out of the macro key settings and then the tablet properties itself, and then with the nib of the style, I'm going to hit the number one macro key, which brings up the run command. So I'm just going to drag this in so you can see it a bit clearer. And there we have it, something which is very interesting and something I've never seen on a Wacom tablet before and gives you a greater level of control over what can be carried out just using the tablet itself. So now let's move on to the pressure sensitivity test which is something that I like to do with all of the graphics tablets I review. So let's take a look at this. So I'm in Photoshop now and I'm just going to be applying different levels of pressure when joining up the points here. So starting off with very light lines and then moving on to slightly darker before as much pressure as I can possibly apply and then with the final line I'm just going to do a variation between light and dark just to see how the two contrast okay so you can clearly see the distinction to between the light lines and the darker lines which is good okay cool so let's move on to shading the cube in now so what I'm going to just do here is using the pen tool just plot points um, on the side that I aim to shade in and then when I've finished the path right click and then make selection and then OK that. So that what this does now it ensures that when I'm shading this in it, I don't go outside the lines and it only shades in the area that I actually want it to do. Okay so I'll make this my dark side. 
Okay, then do the same for the next side. And then make selection again and OK that. And then start to shade it in with slightly less pressure to simulate that this side is um, in a little bit more light than the top side. And then finish off with the final side, which is going to be even lighter. So I'll make my selection first. OK, and then just very lightly try and shade this final side in. OK, cool. So this test here is basically joining up the points and the reason I like to do this is to try and get a feel for my accuracy when using the pen. I mean a lot of this is going to come down to my hand-eye coordination and I appreciate that it doesn't give you an, a good idea of how um, accurate the tablet is itself but at the end of the day it's how you work with the tablet and so it's something that I feel would benefit me knowing how easy I am able to say join up points using this tablet itself. So the final test is just to do a little bit of free drawing. Now one of the main reasons I use a graphics tablet is to do some free drawing or outlining if you like in Photoshop which I can then move on to vector programs such as Flash or Illustrator. So I need to know that the tablet is fairly accurate and it's not going to cause me any issues when carrying out sketches. So there doesn't seem to be any issues here, um, all seems to be fairly accurate and I'm just going to finish off this quick sketch of Bart Simpson and then just try out some basic writing again no real dramas here okay so there we have it the pressure sensitivity for the Aptek 1400U so now that we've finished all of the elements within this test here I'd say that the performance of the Aptek 14000U is pretty consistent with something like the Wacom Bamboo Pen and Touch obviously it doesn't contain some of the more advanced features like uh, tilt angle which we see within the Intuos range but overall a very solid performance and something that I could definitely say that I would work with in the future OK, so thanks for watching this video and I hope you found it useful. Don't forget to drop by at www.bestgraphicstablets.com where you can see a wide range of detailed graphics tablet reviews along with tutorials on how to get the most out of your tablet. Take care.